first one, bro. Which Those one? not the first one. Not some mine in my crib. Oh, in your crib. Yeah, I about to say them. In my last crib. fight. Yeah, I about to say them. Did you hang them up, bro? Yeah, I hung them up. My yeah. pro debuts, I ain't touching them. Yeah, yeah. They gonna, you can put them jewels in the case? Yeah. I get some money. <laughs> <laughs> Once I get some money, I'm hanging them right up. I keep releasing them, casing them up. Ma, what you doing? Come here. Oh, sorry, keep Greg, yeah. why is it so tough for him to get fights? First, because he's a Philly fighter. But that means it's like, I mean, no matter where you go in the world, if you're fighting a Philly fighter, you're going to have to really fight. Second of all, his age, his height, the weight class he's competing at. And I mean, 130 is where we would like to be. Um, he, he got a he got like a excellent build for that weight class. Like being almost 5'10", 5'9", 5'9 and a half. You know what I mean? Fighting at 130 pounds, that's an excellent build. Also because he didn't have the major uh, amateur pedigree. So what that means is there's not a lot of videotape on him. Mm. You know what I mean? Then, and then because um, when you look at his record, uh, yeah, he ain't fight the best competition, but all his fights been by knockout. And the reason that means something, because the guy he fought in his debut, that guy in his second fight fought a guy who was like a 10-time national champ, and the guy couldn't stop him. And he stopped him, I think, in the second round, beginning of the second. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's just been situations like that, which is unfortunate a little bit, but at the same time, it, um, it means something. And, it, and it's, it's like a blessing, too, because... We'll be able to say, you know what I mean? When guys start talking that crazy shit, like, no, y'all had a chance to fight us, and y'all ain't say yeah. You know what I mean? But it ain't time for that yet. We just working, trying to keep you motivated. You know what I mean, it's tough doing that, but it's the, it's the game. I did explain that to him a long time ago. Like, I mean, when you when you a motherfucker who who didn't come up, who didn't come up in the amateurs where you where you had a major pedigree, they're gonna give you trouble because it's like, who are you? But at the same time, ain't nobody gonna wanna fight you because of the way the game is now, you know what I mean? Mm. Game fucked up, so. It's, it's, I mean, it's gonna be a tough road, but it's, it's to be expected because he's from Philly. Every Philly fighter had it tough. Now, he, he hasn't fought the best opposition. He's the 4 0 4 knockouts early in his career. Yeah. But he sparred world champions already. Yeah. It, is, that how you, is that how you balance it? Um, if you balance it as far as him learning, yeah, that's how. That's how I, I see it because that's where we're getting our experience from. Our real experience is coming from the sparring sessions, and I'm okay with that because that's if we can't get it in the in the ring fight night, then we got to get it somehow. We do sparring. I'm cool with that. You know what I mean? Now he was kind of like unofficially in Shakur Stevenson's camp because that was right before he came back for oh, the COVID yeah. fight, yeah. Um, and then he spars uh, Stephen Fulton, yeah. two arguably pound for pound fighters. Yeah. Is that when you knew you had a, a real live dog? I knew I knew from how when he walked in the gym and he asked me to train him and he every day after that he did exactly what I asked him. I knew from that I could tell like this boy he got something different because he not arguing with me, he not fighting me on shit. If he want to know something, he asked me. You know what I'm saying? The, ne the one time the one time he never minded me in a fight in the amateurs he lost and he didn't lose bad but he lost and he said and he later on told me like gee i wanted to see if i could win without listening to you now some people might say well why would somebody want to do that it's because he was trying to see if the combination is it the combination of the two or is it just me you know what i'm saying not being cocky he wasn't doing it to be cocky but if people telling me i'm that good am i that good where well, i can fight without listening to my coach and he paid for it but it wasn't a you know what i mean an ass whooping it was just a good fight to a guy that he had already beat you know what i'm saying so it was just like, I feel like, you know what I mean? As long as he listen, do what he got to do, I think he'll be all right. I try to keep the distractions away from him. Try to remind him of the shit that, you know what I mean, that could throw him off. You know what I mean? People don't think that's major, but it is. Like, when you got people start huddling, huddling around you for nothing, you know what I mean? Just because they see something jumping, they want to be around it and start putting their input. That could, that could take a fighter off. That could throw you off. You know what I'm saying? So try to keep him away from shit like that. You know what I mean? What's the ceiling, G? For him, you yeah. never know because he the type of guy that you're going to have to hurt in that ring. You got to kill him. And I mean, if you ain't ready to kill him, then I don't know because he might get you. You know what I'm saying? That's just, so I don't know. As far as, I think he definitely would be world champion at 130, 135 pounds. 140, I feel like he'll have 
some great fights at 140, mm -hmm. but I don't know who. You know what I mean? Because he 23 at this point, um, and I don't know who gonna be around at that time. Those old, those guys might move up to 47. Some of them might still stick around. You know what I mean? He got in there with Africa not too long ago. Um, oh, we got in Richardson. Richard, okay. Richard Hitches, and that was great work. And you could see the you could see the experience difference, but you could see where like he belonged in there too. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? It wasn't like super easy. You know I mean, it was, it, he had to make it kind of gritty, which was to be expected. But I mean, that's why I like him though. And Hitch is a big dude. Yeah, yeah, big dude fighting at one forty. I like yeah. his size. You know what I mean, but yeah. that's the he's got. Remember, he at one thirty though. Yeah, and the art, and you were thinking about taking him to one twenty six. Yeah, at one point we was, but we was like we don't have the resources right now to do it. Mm. I mean, we probably could do it, but we don't have the resources right now. We don't have, a, you know what I mean, the camp, the hours and all that, that it take to strip the body down and still recover. We don't have that type of time. You know what I mean?